Good morning, I am Alicia and I am a second year pre-K teacher and this is day three of classroom setup. Okay, so I'm gonna combine days two with day three. Um, the last time I was here for, I guess this would be day four, it's day four. Um, for day three when I was here, uh, my other teaching partner was here too, so I was helping her a lot and they were also talking, so I didn't want to record all of like their conversation. So I'll show you what I got done the last time I was here. I'll just flip the camera around. I started this board and I ran out of the uh, wood ship lap paper, so I started patching it and then this is the small amount that I had left for my board, so I had to go buy another one. So I have that with me today. Um, but I went ahead and just kind of put my posters up where I could. So this would be a block area and then the I can build posters. And then I hung up my shapes banner. Um, my colors was done with the art center. My desk is still a mess. And then here's the front of the room. Oh, I finished... Um, Oh, my little bear fell. I'll have to hang that again. And then there's my daughter. She's with me today. And and then I did fix the orange and yellow paper. And I brought my hot glue gun to do the letters to put those on the wall. So that's what we're doing today. I'm hoping that I can get all the decorations done that I have today. I'm going to make a makeshift bulletin board. Do the entry door right there and the bulletin board in the hallway. So I'll keep you posted.
Okay, so I needed to print um, the We Are for We Are Family. Um, and I was so surprised that it actually printed on black paper. I don't know why that, that was so shocking, but I was like, oh my God, it did it. So I'm gonna cut these out so I can finish that bulletin board. And then I printed the leaves for the front door. I think I'm gonna make a, a leaf banner with some flowers and then up above just say welcome just so it's like simple and and then it can stay up hopefully all year without me having to change it and fix it so that's what we're gonna do that took a very long time and I have 16 of these so hopefully it goes by fast I can't remember what was the last thing that you guys saw, so I'm just gonna show you what my, what my room looks like right now um, and all the things that I did. Okay, so I finished this, we are family. My idea is that I'm gonna hang classroom, like pictures of them up in that little banner. You've seen my calm down corner. Um, I'm not quite set on like my library or the sensory bin table and I still need to organize the coat room but these are done. I still need to get another border, the polka dot border, to finish this wall. Uh, math and science, art. Um, let's see. I brought in the bookshelf with their book bins. I don't know what to do with this teaching cart. I need it for my calendar. But if I put it right here by my rocking chair, it blocks all of this. If I put it over there, it blocks my focus. It's blocking the bookshelf so that students can't have access right there. So I just, I need it, but I, I don't know where to put it or where to store it um, at all. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, let's see, I finished, I hot glued the letters for where every child is an artist and hung up the little paint things on the wall. Um, and then I kind of hung up my welcome. Okay, so there's the welcome board that you can see. It's just a little flower banner that says welcome. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be, but it works and does the job. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, but yeah, the classroom is starting to look like a classroom. Anyway, that is the end of day four for classroom setup. I hope that you enjoyed it and please leave your responses down in the comments so I can check it out because I would really like your feedback and I'll see you next time. Bye.